guys, this is uh, Poet Spice Biblio Color Scribe, and I am here to do my plans for May's coloring. And they're not overly elaborate. I know some people have these huge long plans. I'm like, okay, I don't have all that. <laughs> so this is basically going to be with like what's in my bag tag, even though I don't really have a bag for it. But I guess I should get some kind of little container. Um, I may find a bag somewhere. So I'll put the hashtag to this and the person who created this. But I'm going to show you what books I would like to color in for May. I'm not going to show in particular, you know, very, pictures in necessarily um, because most of them have lots of pictures that I would like to color in. So I'm just going to show the books themselves and then just do a little bit of discussion about um, some things that I would like to do this month that I didn't do my first month on Color Tube. So first book, and they're not in any particular order. They're just in size order so they don't fall off my desk. <laughs> So the first book I definitely want to do some coloring in is The Circle of Life by that person right there. I'm not going to try to butcher their name. And I do have tabs up here for ones that I would like to color first that I did in my previous video. So I would like to do that. Do some in here. I've already started some in this Johanna Bassford's World of Wonder. And so I'd like to continue doing that. I love this purple color. Blue and purple are my favorite. See, blue, purple, blue, purple. <laughs> so I would like to finish a couple things that I started in here. And then if I color some more in here, that would be awesome as well. And I do have to say, I would also like to color in the Ivy and Inky Butterfly. That would be fabulous too. But I pulled this one out because since I had stuff started in this one already, mine's will go ahead and finish. The next one I would like to do some playing in is Kirby Rosanis' Worlds Within Worlds. Um, I bought this one and then I went ahead and bought Fragile World and I think I like this one better. So, I like this cover too. Ooh. And uh, so there are some pictures in here. There's actually quite a few in here that I really like. I wasn't going to do this because I didn't want you to be here forever. But I really do like this concept of these like burning buildings as candles. I love that. That is flipping awesome. I don't know why. I just do. So that would be cool to do. And then I really do like the monkey. And for some reason, I like this little city on the mushroom as well. Well, it's probably the, probably the cupolas because I really do like those Russian looking buildings. So that's pretty fun. So I do want to play with this one. And if you want to see any flip throughs of any of these, even though I know there's probably a flip through for every single book I have here, which is probably why I have it because I wouldn't have purchased it otherwise, but you might want to see my opinion. Maybe not. So this one I would like to play in this one. I just showed this in my uh videos because this was one of the most recent ones that i purchased so to play in this one uh this tanya stolova which i think now she's go by tatiana i think is what it is and it's a nice little town four these little mice are so cute i just love these little houses that she developed on here they are adorable and i like that they're single-sided and most of the spaces are big enough that I can use my crayons. Yes, I do like crayons as well as my alcohol markers, my uh -hoo hoos my Spectrum Noirs, my Derwin ink tints that I'm starting to play with now. I'm like, woohoo, my uh, color tints and everything. So I'm like, yeah. Okay. And then I also have these tonic glacier pastes. So I think that, I don't know if you can see them that way. I think that might be interesting to do some backgrounds with because you can actually water these down and use them like paints. You can just use them through a stencil or you can just rub them on. So I think I want to play with these because I don't really use much mixed media stuff and I'm like, I've got tons of it. So, hey, why don't we try using it? All right, I do want to color in this Main Street one by Creative Haven. And I think several of the pages in here have pieces that are big enough for me to use crayons as well. And it's single-sided, so I can use my alcohol markers as well as anything else I wanted to. So that's fun. I'm going to scoot these over. And then I have the last few. Now, I have not picked out a ton of books because I get overwhelmed easily, especially around this time of year. 
So I'm like, I pulled these out and probably this is too many, but we we will see. So another one of, see, yeah, she does Tatiana. She, and I love this cover. Oh my gosh. It's like that leatherette feel to it. Ooh, I love it. Love it. So the vintage classes coloring pages two that she has out. And I just like these images. Some of them I could get away with using crayons, but probably I would use my markers or my color pencils. <clears throat> I just saw this, showed this one because I got it in a haul. So this fantasy collection, probably something out of each book would be kind of cool. Yeah. Mermaids. And somebody was talking about how it's mermaid or whatever it is so i was like oh, okay well there's some mermaids in there and jane davenport does that as well so she does mermaids mermaid may or mermaid or something like may murder or whatever jane davenport does that too all right then another one of the tatiana books is vintage classics three and then the last one i have out um i still do i actually have the other one but it's in my room it's in the other room is uh Ooh, it's an Anna Carlson book. Which one is it? It's not Daydreams. Dawn, whichever one the Dawn is. But it's under my bed because I'm working on that. <laughs> and then I have a buddy color to finish in here. And so I want to get those two things done. And then this one is just kind of fun to just... Because the images are just so cute. So that would just be fun to play with anyway. So those are the ones that I have out. And I'll just put a couple so you can see. Then what I wanted to do on my channel is I have not done a color along or a color in chat. So I figured I would do that. And then you can let me know if there's anything in here, any of these that I have that you'd like to see as a color in chat. Also, if you would like to just be like, hey, we can do one together and set one up and so forth and we can just message back and forth and show pictures back and forth and then do it on you know do the buddy color when you reveal at the end whatever um and so forth i might do a couple drawings on here as well or color in some of my old digital images so that's what i would like to do on the channel this time is just to do a color a cup few color chat alongs and if anybody else wants to do like a buddy color that's to, you know back and forth through texting or not texting but you know messaging or on instagram messaging or something like that you can let me know uh yeah okay and i shall see you guys later thanks for watching and you guys have fun let me know below what you're going to be doing in may also if you know any good hashtags that are going on or new people to watch and videos new people to follow on instagram any coloring because i'm not in any coloring facebook groups so any of those that you can let me know about in the comments that would be helpful as well thank you guys and have fun coloring